Hey guys, so we're doing another food pro uh, focus today, and we've got Aaron from Organica on. Uh, we're super excited to have him on this. He's going to be at the BC Food and Bev um, uh, Food Pro 23 coming up in June. So if you haven't got your ticket yet, make sure you do that. Um, but he joins um, just a super amazing cast of folks that are going to be there. Um, so Aaron, w welcome. Welcome, and uh, thanks for jumping on with us. Thank you, guys. Super, uh, super excited to be here and, and looking forward to diving into uh, some thoughts. Do you, um, so, do you mind introducing yourself a little bit for the audience in case people, pretty sure people know who you are, but but if they don't, if you could introduce yourself, that'd be great. For sure. So my name's uh, Aaron Chin. I'm the CEO at Organica. I like to call us a 33-year-old startup. Uh, it was actually, Organic was actually started by my dad 33 years ago. Uh, my brother and I, we joined about uh, nine years ago now. Uh, so we're coming up on a decade, uh, but having a ton of fun. And, and I think the cool thing about Organica is, uh, you know, we've really found a nice niche in the market of, of certain categories and SKUs and, and being able to resonate with today's consumer. So um, primarily focused on the health and wellness space. Uh, so you'll find us in, in various uh, grocery retailers and, and online as well. Well, that was pretty modest. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty very, modest. very modest. A few grocers, you know, a couple no. independents, handful of yeah, guys. Got some shit out there. It sells okay, <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's you know, I, I think for us, it's uh, for me, there's no better feeling. I've I've always had this from a young age, but there's no better feeling than going to a grocery store, or a store, and seeing an organic product in the cart. Um, you know, nowadays we we see it more often than not, but uh, you know it's always it's always fun to fun to see that. So, see the problem already is that you even the, you know how how the company started and where you guys going. We could do an hour right now, so we're going to have to really try to control ourselves and contain ourselves. But let's focus. Let's do it this way. Let's focus. Otherwise, seriously, I'm going to start asking a million questions. Yeah, yeah. I, I've I've already I got like eight I questions I want to ask you. But. So let's let's maybe just <laughs> focus a little bit more on food. Totally. So with respect to food pro, what are you, what are you, what's I, without giving the whole thing away? Cause we want people to attend and, yeah. and listen and have questions and appreciate what you guys are all saying. What are you, what are you going to be talking about? What sort of, uh, what yeah. sort of where you want to take us at food pro? Yeah. The cool thing uh, about the panel is uh, we got some rock stars on the panel, like uh, Jade, who's, who's the founder and CEO of Yogu. Um, I told her when I saw her at the last uh, BC Food and Bev event is our family loves yogu. Um, so de product. definitely a consumer about it. Yeah, super awesome product. Um, and then we also have Karen. Karen's the uh, the founder and CEO of Bloom and, and another hot kind of fast growing uh, business. And we had our first chat yesterday kind of as a group and it was this it was kind of magic. Like, you know, when you just have people in the room and you're just riffing off one another and ideas are popping up and and the conversations extending because it's hey you know this is like my experience but this is how it's different uh so it was actually really cool yesterday kind of talking about the theme is bold moves right um and i think the the real impetus behind that is you know how are you being bold in your own ways and what does bold mean to you right uh, because bold doesn't just mean oh i'm zero dollars today and i want to be 100 mil in five years but bold could be hey i want to create a long-lasting legacy of a business that's around for 50 years and that my kids eventually run right so i think uh it was really interesting to hear everyone's different perspectives on that and i think um there's some really really cool stories uh that we were even sharing yesterday i won't give too much away but um just on what it means to be an entrepreneur and, and what it means to to make you know bold moves in, in our own ways that's gonna be awesome i, I, I it um I have so many questions that I can't ask now because I'm. I know trying because to, it's a podcast. Kind of you, you but but um, <laughs> but like so we've we've had um we've had Jade and and Karen on this and I think if you're listening to this like to get Aaron, Jade and Karen talking about bold moves, it's it's a bit goosebumpy to be honest, right? Because you just um, you guys all three of you have done just some really amazing things with your businesses um that i yeah I the panel so. should I mean, the panel should crackle actually i think like it should it's be really cool be. because you guys are all yeah. relatively young totally um you know two started mm -hmm. one sort of took over mm -hmm. but the stories are remarkable because you mm -hmm. know 
whether whether your dad started something and, and mm-hmm. it was working didn't mean that when you and your brother came mm-hmm. in it works anymore mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we've seen enough of those examples to start you know in a space of uh, a functional tea sort of thing or drink that mm-hmm. you, nobody was mm-hmm. in or you're doing um, a non-dairy mm-hmm. yogurt which really mm-hmm. hadn't been very good at that point mm-hmm. like you guys mm-hmm. have done some as a just the threesome of right there is like pretty remarkable yeah it was uh it's it some really like i said it's like some good chemistry you know not not a lot of times you hop on a panel and you have that much in common with with the other panelists that you can can really dive deep and, and also if you feel comfortable sharing right because you know you, you might be all oh, this guy's too intimidating i, I want to let him take the whole mic the whole time but right it was it was a really nice mix of everyone chiming in and sharing their story do you think that's because the natural health channel lends to that aaron like because you've been in this now obviously probably since you were a little kid because we all know folks from old countries etc that they just drag us into the business whether you want to or not at about as soon as you can walk pretty much or not cut yourself or put yourself into a machine like you're working from birth but to, to you know i just i, I don't know i just yeah, I feel like I feel like you're right. It's uh, I, I feel very blessed every day that I am in the health and wellness space because I think, you know, from a very young age, my dad told me something very profound that I still remind myself every day when you know maybe things get tough. It's like, hey, Aaron, you're not selling, you know, tires. You're selling life-giving products. Um, so if that doesn't motivate and drive you every day, I mean, what will? Yeah, exactly. And then you also get to meet, you know, Karen, who's running the functional tea and right. beverage company and Jade, who's giving better yogurt for people. It's it's like, yeah, you have that natural connection of, hey, like we're, we're out there trying to make the world. I know it sounds corny, but trying to make the world a better place. Right. So I, I think I think the one that is so interesting to me, um, like from your perspective, is, is just uh, like watching you and Organica kind of grow is like you you also like you kind of set organica kind of set the industry on its ear a little right like with with your entry into costco and things like that for sure you know like natural products you know we being in this industry you kind of know hey this is where we live right there's a a set of retailers that it's almost predictable when somebody says oh i've launched and you go oh i'm here i'm there i'm here i'm there and you kind of go yep 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 got it so you've got you know kind of four more retailers but I feel like your entry into like such a big mass merch um, is something that also is transformative, right? Because it's taking natural products and, and really bringing them like truly mainstream, if you will, or like mass merch and making it you know massively available. I, I think that's a big thing, right? So I feel like it's so interesting to watch, you know, kind of like a, a jade right at the beginning you know, no disrespect, she's done huge things, but she's at the beginning almost of her journey of starting to normalize this this new delicious, delicious product. Um, and you've got Karen, who's also, you know, changing the way people look at that functional Bev space. And then you've got you going, got it, you know, making people healthy. Now we got to make more people healthy. Like, let's get to the true mainstream. I think that's super cool. Yeah, I think I think for us, Phil, it's it's super interesting you say that because you know when my brother and I joined nine years ago, you know we drew out the whole industry. We drew out a whole map of who's who in the industry. You know, in the food drug mass market, specialty retailers, online, um, and then the key theme that we kept coming back to is okay, what was Dad's original intention? Dad's original intention was to help as many people as he could live healthier. Uh, so what does that mean for us in terms of how we show up on shelf? Um, where we show up on shelf, how we're accessible, um, how we market our products. Is it easy to understand? Or are we talking about, you know, our product that the 95% of the population will understand the science behind it? How do we make right. that easy for people to understand? I think just always having that in mind has has really helped obviously transform and, and grow our business because I think for us, uh, you know, we talk about the natural health industry. It can also be very cliquey can also be very um you know ex- feel exclusive or, you notice that when you went yeah. into call storm <laughs> yeah yeah exactly right Did they pick up on that yeah yeah for sure for sure so i th- I, th- I think i think for us just making sure that's top of our mind of you yeah. know why why why, are, why was organic start in the first place and, and what kind of legacy do we want to leave behind right so uh, yeah so that's kind of our driver for sure 
Amazing. Very cool, man. Um, Very cool. So Aaron Chin going to be at Food Pro 23. If you guys are, if you're not going yet, go get tickets um, fast because Karen, Aaron, and Jade already makes this thing go. It's, it's going it. to be it's amazing. It's worth every penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Aaron, thank you for jumping on and, and doing this with us. We, um, I'll send you back a link, and then hopefully, hopefully, if this hasn't been terrible, we'd love to have you back <laughs> for an hour so we could we could pick apart some of this other stuff that's in there. Would love to, guys. Would love to. And, awesome. and uh, thank you guys for having me on. Appreciate it. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks, our Aaron. Pleasure. Thanks.